हाय एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भूषण शर्मा एसोसिएट डायरेक्टर यूनिट हेड कार्डियोलॉजी पारस हॉस्पिटल गुड़गांव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट ओ माइक्रॉन एंड द इफेक्ट्स ऑन द हार्ट एज यू नो एज कंपेयर टू द अदर वेरिएंट्स इज इन्फेक्टिविटी इज मच मोर द पैथोजेनिसिटी इज नॉट नोन सो फार इट इज प्रिडिक्टेड एंड इज्यूम दैट इट माइट हैव मच मोर सीरियस इम्प्लीकेशन एज कम्पेयर टू द एल्फा और द डेल्टा वेरियंट्स now omicron as with a limited knowledge what we know about it especially with the south african uh, uh, variant what happens is it hits three major pathways in the heart one is it hits the electrical conduction system of the heart so as a result the heart rate variability is increased and the heart rate regulation is lost normal heart rate regulation is between 60 to 90 in such cases your heart rate can become very high to 150 160 the patient might complain that my heart is racing Like this for 150, 160, or sometimes it can become very slow to about 35, 40. If it becomes very slow, you require a pacemaker. If it becomes very fast, you require certain medicines to slow it down. Second possibility it can do is it directly affects the heart muscle. As a result, the heart muscle functioning gets reduced. When the heart muscle pumping gets reduced, the heart functioning, which was 55, 60%, decreases to about 25, 30%. when the heart functioning becomes low there are three things which can happen one is what the patient complains patient complains is shortness of breath second is what the doctor doctor sees doctor sees when the heart functioning is only 25 30% there is multi organ failure heart is a central pump so blood supply to the brain also decreases resulting in stroke blood supply to the kidney decreases resulting in kidney failure blood supply to the intestines decreases resulting in appetite loss so what the doctor sees is multi organ failure the third thing which happens is risk of sudden cardiac death which neither the doctor sees or the patient sees when the heart functioning pump becomes low so it is like out of your four wheels of your car three wheels are punctured the car can topple over any time how to differentiate whether this shortness of breath in omicron or in or delta variant is because of heart or because of lungs simple thing is if the patient tells you that while lying down my shortness of breath increases it is almost because of heart it says i am so it is associated with swelling in the legs or swelling in the abdomen it is almost always associated with heart classical finding will be shortness of breath which increases during lying down and decreases during sitting up is classical of a heart problem so my third possibility what the omicron variant does and even after vaccination people are getting is small blood clots these small small blood clots which go into the heart cause a heart attack which go into the brain cause a brain stroke which go into the legs called cause a leg gangrene or a leg ulceration so you have to be cognizant of all these three variants and their protection is a must self isolation then obviously vaccination especially getting a booster dose now the recommendations will be coming in shortly for the booster dose which we be, we have to be careful about and especially people with lower immunity people who are hypertensive people who are diabetics people who have had heart disease people who have had kidney disease renal transplant patients immunocompromised patients are the ones who have to be very very careful about it thank you